Hey guys, how's it going? Tom here, and today I'm going to go ahead and finish replacing all the spark plug wires in my 95 Chevy C1500, and I'm going to take you guys step by step in how to replace those. So that way, if you ever run into an issue where you need to replace these wires yourself, you know how to do it. So go ahead and follow along. Alright, so the first step that's going to end up going on is we're going to have to pop the hood, obviously. And the distributor cap is going to be back behind the air filter. So in order to get to that, we're going to have to go ahead and remove that air filter and get it out of the way. Now, as you can see right here, there's where the distributor cap is, where all the wires for the spark plugs run to. Now, the thing is, the best practice is to remove them one at a time and replace them one at a time because each engine has its own firing sequence and if you mess up that firing sequence, it can cause issues with your engine and with the truck actually running and being able to run properly. So it's best to replace the wires one at a time to make sure they're all wired up appropriately. And the first wire that I'm going to be replacing is gonna be this one right here. So what I'll end up doing is I'm gonna pull it off just like that. I'm gonna figure out which spark plug it runs to. And by doing that, I'll trace the wire down the side. Play properly, play nicely, and run it all the way down the side to here, and that's how I find out that it runs right to the front of the engine right here. And just like that, one wire has been removed. Now, as you guys can see here, you're going to want to make sure you're replacing it with a wire of the same length. And now when it comes to plugging it back up, you can put the spark plug over that side, push it down, get it on there nice and good. And then you're going to feed it down to the same spark plug that you pulled the other one off of. And then you're going to want to push this end back on there. And that's all that is to replacing a spark plug and then you'll proceed to go one by one using the same method replacing each spark plug now I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ones done but again you pull one end off you feed it out to figure out which spark plug you're plugging up to and you unhook it from the spark plug And then you find one of a, the same length and then you put the new one back in there. Alright guys, so as you can see I went ahead and I rewired the rest of the spark plugs. And this is where we're going to get to see if uh, and how the truck ends up running. And then there's all my old spark plugs that I went ahead and, or spark plug wires that I pulled out of the truck. And then, uh, silly me, almost forgot one other thing that we gotta do before we go ahead and try and start the truck. Alright, so there she is. All wired back up, air filter back on there. I do have to get one more wing nut for that because I did lose the other one. Um, but now it's time to start her up and see how she sounds. So I am sitting in the truck now, putting my keys in. Let's see how this goes. As you can see, everything's running appropriately. And working in the way that it should. And there's all the new spark plugs that we got there. So yeah. 
1995 Chevy spark plug wiring replacement. That's a step by step on how you get it done. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, I am working on my Chevy over time, so there will be more how to videos like this in the future. Um, feel free to subscribe, like, and share the video. And as always, enjoy life. Take it a day at a time. And I'll catch you all next time.